Welcome to Remedy Force Video Solutions. What to do when the Pentaho Spoon Dot Bat will not run. Okay, so you've downloaded uh, Pentaho, you've extracted it, you downloaded the Remedy Force package, and you're ready to start. In this case, I've downloaded uh, Pentaho 7.1 and I've extracted it. And the Spoon Dot Bat is located in the data integration folder of the extracted files. When I click on it, nothing happens. You might see a flash of a DOS window, but the UI never loads. The problem in this case is Pentaho can't find the correct version of Java. Now you could go and set the environment variable for uh, Pentaho Java underscore home for the system and it would require a reboot. And then every time you update to Java, you'd have to go back and update that variable. Or what you can do is make a copy of the JRE folder and drop it in the data integration folder. Then the Pentaho UI will start. So let's do that. I'm on Windows 7. So in this case, my uh, JRE folder is located in a C program files Java. And then it's, you see on this particular computer, I've had multiple versions of Java installed. This one is actually not the correct version. Here's the JRE folder. So what we'll do is we'll copy this JRE folder, copy, and then we'll paste it into the data integration folder. Once the copy is complete, we'll rename it simply to JRE, removing the Java version. And then you run the spoon.bat. I like to run it as administrator. So right click, and if you don't have run as administrator, you may have something else. Uh, we have security software. Uh, so we run as administrator is run elevator with defend point. So click that. And in a few seconds, uh, it may take up to a minute, depending on your system, uh, the Pentaho UI will launch. There we go. This concludes what to do when the Pentaho Spoon.bat will not run.